Well, hello, beloved. It's me, Coach Carmen, the Kingdom Health, Purpose, and Wealth Coach and founder of SharingTheBliss.com, where we take you on a joyful journey to holistic health, purpose, and wealth with programs to help you to soothe your soul, heal your body, turn your pain into power, and your purpose into prosperity. Well, welcome. Happy Saturday to you all. Blessed Saturday. This is an impromptu live video and I'm actually recording this video or taping it because I just completed the week two of my 28 day body and soul detox group meeting. So we are meeting every week on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning via Facebook live. So I'm actually using the Be Live platform and we have a private Facebook group. And I'm telling you, I am really loving this. This is so cool. You know, for years I've done the 28 Day Body and Soul Detox when it was virtual over the phone uh, with my conference line. And that was wonderful because people got a chance to speak and we can hear each other's voices. But there's something about being live that makes it a lot more real, I think. So. I'm, I'm loving it this month, the month of April, our 28 Day Body and Soul Detox group program is all about releasing strongholds. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about why it's so important to understand the faith food connection. And, you know, what does this have to do with strongholds? What does this have to do with living a purpose-driven dream life. Well, I say everything. I really do because when you are not eating right, when you're not eating food that's going to not only nourish your body but heal your body and connect you to the kingdom, you're not going to be in a position or let's just say you're further away from being positioned to live your purpose-driven dream life because, and this is it, this is the, the real core of this whole thing about faith and food and what I call the faith food connect, connection and the faith food um, experience is that you can have all the faith in the world. You can be a straight up believer, but if you're eating food that has GM, that is created in a laboratory with the seeds of that food has been created in a laboratory and is GMO because it's genetically modified food or GEO, genetically engineered organism, then you are eating food that's been created by man, not created by God. And when you're eating food that's created by man and not created by God, what you're doing is you're leaning into what I call the matrix, man's way of doing and being wrong as opposed to God's way of doing and being right. Our food has everything to do with our faith because when we are eating food that is outside of God's will and his way, meaning that you're eating food that has not been grown and created by God and grown the way God created food to grow, you don't know what you're eating. You don't know what they're putting in these GMO uh, seeds. We don't know. But we do know that we're getting sicker than we've ever gotten. We do know that we're as confused as can be. We do know that we have a lot of anger issues. We do know that we have issues with even getting our finances together and, and being in line with abundance, we do know that we are stressed beyond belief. We do know that we are out of control in many ways. We don't have the discipline that we should have as kingdom heirs and heiresses. So I say look back at the food. Because, again, you don't know what's in this food. It's bad enough that we're eating food that's been sprayed with toxic poisons that are designed to kill insects. 
you don't want to eat a, a food, a, you don't want to eat a vegetable or a fruit that an insect is not going to eat. Or if the insect eats it, it's going to die. Why would we want to eat food that would kill an insect if an insect eats it? It doesn't make any sense. But yet we have been hoodwinked, hoodwinked to believe that it's okay to eat inorganic food. And it's not, beloved, because as kingdom heirs and heiresses, we need to eat food that's going to give us life, that's going to connect us to the kingdom, keep us connected to the kingdom, that's going to be able to give us the clarity so that we can receive and activate the mind of Christ. You know, we've been given the mind of Christ, but when we're eating food that's affecting our brain cells, that's affecting our neur neurons, then it's very challenging to be able to think like a kingdom heir when your mind is screwed up. When I became very, very ill, and today, actually, really soon, coming up really soon, actually, will be 10 years since I've had my serious cocoon experience and I got very, very ill. And when I got very, very ill, one of the things that I knew I needed to do was to eat organic food. The only reason why I knew I needed to eat organic food was because God had blessed me with at least two major opportunities to learn about organic food. I had my bath and body shop in day spa at the time. And uh, there was a tele television show called Get Fresh with Sarah, Sarah Snow. It was a, um, well, it was on one of the cable channels, the national table, cable channels. And they actually came to my store and they did a video, they did a segment of the show Get Fresh with Sarah Snow. And the show was all about eating and living an organic lifestyle. And I just thought what they were talking about was just ridiculous. It didn't make any sense to me. You know, why are these people so fanatical about eating organic food? So I did not really engage it. I listened to it, but it didn't penetrate. I didn't receive it at the time. At least I didn't think I did. But guess what? When you hear something, you are receiving it, whether you want to receive it or not. That's why it's so important to watch what you hear. Be careful what you allow in your ear gate because it stays in your subconscious. Thank God that stayed in my subconscious. A few weeks later, one of my massage therapists invited me to do a detox with a doctor uh, with a, a doctor who was actually going to be doing a five week detox on Staten Island at Snug Harbor. So I did the detox with him and the first several days of the detox he only spoke about organic food and I thought it was ridiculous again I wasn't receiving it so I thought but subconsciously I was so when uh what uh, maybe nine months later when everything hit the fan and I got very very sick the first thing I heard from the Holy Spirit was go organic you need organic food and I'm telling you, beloved, if I did not hear from God to eat organic food when I was fighting for my life, I would not be here today. I may be here today if I had taken the medical matrix route because they would have pumped me with all kinds of, of drugs that would have suppressed the illness. And even though it was... It was based on an autoimmune disease, but I oh, but it was a blood disease too. So they would have given me chemotherapy and all these other uh, strong drugs to kill the disease in my body, but it would have been killing me as it was killing the disease. I did not take that route. I heard from God and I became an organic raw vegan. Well, at first it wasn't it wasn't organic because my husband did not believe in organic. He was like me. I didn't believe in organic. So he was feeding me beautiful fruits and vegetables because I had to close down my, I had to leave my store. He was still running it um, and working. And I stayed home to heal my body. And he was bringing me organic, he was bringing me food, but it wasn't organic. 
And what happened was my symptoms got worse and worse. Had my blood tested, saw all these pesticides, herbicides, fungicides in my blood. And that's when we knew we had to go organic. I'm telling you the this part of um, the story about faith and food and the importance of faith and food because I want you to understand that it's not just food. I'm not just saying that you should stop eating meat, you should stop eating um, sugar, you should stop eating anything that you and I have been told is unhealthy. We know what's not right to eat, amen? For the most part, we know. I'm not just telling you that you should stay away from those things. I'm saying that if you're going to eat meat, let it be organic. If you're going to eat anything that has to do with an animal, right? If, it's, if you're going to eat eggs, butter, cheese, let it be organic. Because you are putting this substance in your body. And it should just be for nourishment. It should not have pesticides. It should not have chemicals. It should not have been made in a laboratory. Because when you eat food like that, you disrupt the connection that you have with God. You disrupt the, the connection that you have with God because you're no longer being able to hear the way he created you to hear. You're not able to feel the way he created you to feel. And a lot of emotions and negative feelings start to come up when, when we, we're eating outside of the way we're supposed to eat. The saying that we are what we eat is so true. When you're eating healthy, organic food and the high raw food is awesome, the higher the raw food is that you eat, the more high, food, high raw food you eat, the better. But even if it's just cooked, organic vegan or cooked organic vegetarian, if it's organic, you're putting pure fuel in your body. You're putting pure food in your body. So your body is aligned with that food and God can connect with you and you can connect with God. You notice when you fast, what happens? When you fast, you hear from God more clearly, right? You hear from God more clearly when you fast because you are not bogged down with all of the low vibrational food and low vibrational, um, just toxic stuff that we have in our bodies when we eat food that's not healthy. And if you're not eating at all, then you are cleaning out your body and you're detoxing your body and your body is now raising its frequency so now it can hear from God better. So that's why the faith food connection is a serious connection. But it's this faith food connection can save your life. Because if you are a follower of Christ and you are a word person and you begin to change your diet, you become so much more enlightened New Agers talk about being enlightened. We are enlightened. We are the ones that are supposed to be enlightened. You cannot be enlightened, beloved, if you're eating nothing but inorganic food and eating a lot of dead food and a lot of meat and food from, uh, let's say, McDonald's and, and different fast food restaurants because you are bogging down and slugging down your system, you're slowing down your brain and your frequency is becoming dull. So you're not able to connect with the kingdom. When you eat organic food, you can connect with the kingdom. I'm telling you, I know what I'm telling you is true. Everyone who's done my 28 day body and soul detox will attest to this. When they start eating fully organic, Everything starts changing in their lives. They start attracting miracles. Opportunities start coming. They start to see things they didn't see before. They start to hear things they didn't hear before because they are more in tuned to the divine. We are 
supernatural beings. It's just like super, Superman. Think about Superman, for instance. Superman had one thing that he could not deal with, and that was what? Kryptonite, right. Kryptonite made him cripple. He was no longer able to connect with his power when he was dealing with kryptonite. Well, inorganic food, beloved, is like kryptonite to us as believers. It dulls our thinking. It makes us weak in our mind. It makes us angry. It makes us negative, especially when we're eating. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you when we're eating food that is like already not the healthiest thing, and then you're going to eat it inorganic. What are you doing? How are we able to really fight the good fight of faith when our food is toxic? We need food that's going to give us life, empowerment, make us strong, make us disciplined, give us the discipline. And that's another thing that's great about switching over to food that gives you life. It's a discipline. It's a discipline to turn away from food that you're used to eating. I'm not telling you to eat food that's nasty. I'm not telling you to eat food that doesn't taste good. Let me tell you something. If you don't know, I'll let you know. Coach Carmen don't play that when it comes to food. My food is delicious. You ask any of my clients, you go on my website, watch any videos, testimonial videos, whatever, and you'll hear that the food is delicious. I'm not taking food away. God is not going to take food, good food away from you. You know if God created the food, it's going to be delicious. What happens is you're so used to eating the toxic food that your body craves it because we are what we eat. So the more toxic, toxic food you eat, the more toxic food you crave. But once you detox and get that out of your bloodstream, then you're able to lean into what's healthier for you. Thank you, Patina. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you're able to appreciate good food. You're able to appreciate delicious raw vegetables and fruit. You're able to appreciate brown rice and beautiful stir-fried vegetables and not have to have meat with it because you've cleaned out your body but until you clean out your blood and you clean out those pesticides herbicides fungicides and the unhealthy food you've been eating all these years out of your colon your colon is your second brain your colon has memory and your colon will always crave what's still in the colon so until you clean out your colon you're not going to be able to desire what you should desire it's just like faith when it comes to faith until you stop going to the places that were drawing you into sin right i'm not saying that uh, you know whatever that was for you whatever it is you know um because i personally don't think going out dancing is going into sin you know some people believe that you know hey listen i love to dance and have a good time and you know you don't have to be in sin to do that but i'm talking about whatever you were doing that was was not helping you to live a high frequency life when you stopped doing that what happened you started to hear from god better right you started to attract more blessings it's the same thing with food it's the faith food connection you can have faith and um, and think you're going to just be able to have all the blessings and the miracles in your life without having the food be as important to you as faith because faith and food is connected and another way the last thing I'm going to say about this is that when I when I eat organic vegan raw vegan food the more I eat organic raw vegan food the more I am like on another planet. I mean, I'm telling you, I am like so over negativity, over, I don't even want to watch news. I don't watch news anyway that much uh, at all, really. Um, but I don't want to be around anything negative. And guess what? I don't attract anything negative because my frequency is so high that it doesn't even come nigh me. 
I attract blessings. People want to bless me. I have more energy. I think clearer. I want to take the time to be with God. I don't have a lot of angst and anxieties and stress. So that means I'm a, I'm a better conductor for receiving God's blessings. I'm a, I'm a conduit for his blessings. They can come in and I can give them back out to others. But when you're eating low vibrational food, you are going to have a low vibrational life. So the next 28 day body and soul detox is in May. I think it's May 6th. We start Saturday, May 6th. It's four weeks that will change your life. If you want to know more about it, I'll send you an email that will explain the detox and uh, the, the price is ridiculous, so reasonable. Just go to sharingthebliss.com or actually just message me here on Facebook, okay? All right, well listen, have a beautiful Saturday everyone. It's so great to see you even if you weren't on with me right now. I know you'll be uh, watching this video and I just want to tell you that I love you and I'm here for you. Coach Carmen's here for you. I love you and I want to support you, all right? Do the next detox, honey. Please do the next 28-day body and soul detox and transform your life, all right? I love you. Bye. Have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.